That's all. All right, television viewers, you know what this program is. This is the program of death. Amen. God Almighty come to bring death to you. That's right. Why? It is God's objective to kill our will. That's right. Our way of thinking. Oh, yeah. And then it's God's objective and God's purpose that he alone mm -hmm. be exalted. That's right. You better give me, I believe, the seventh chapter of the book of John is what I want, if I'm correct. Mm -hmm. And begin at the 38th verse. We had a very, very, very good meeting last night, God knows. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it's good to have a gospel that everybody got to bow to. That's right. I wouldn't say anybody got to bow to you. I didn't say me. Amen. I said the gospel. The gospel. The gospel of Jesus Christ is what everybody must bow to, must surrender, must give up. Many of you writing me say you think you're the only one right. No, I believe the only one right is God. That's right. God is the only one right. That's right. There are flaws in all of us. Amen. But God Almighty is faithful. Amen. All right, William, let's go to work in the book of scriptures. Listen. St. John chapter 7 and at verse 38. All right. He that believeth on me. Listen. Glory to God. Amen. Jesus is talking. That's right. He. That believeth. That believeth. On me. On me. As the scripture had said. Whatever the scripture says about Jesus. Mm -hmm. There's no need to argue about it. No. You just got to believe it. That's it. Even if you don't understand it. That's right. But the scripture says it. He that believeth on me. He that believe now holy. Mm -hmm. You have believers. Then you have disciples. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Viewer and you that are here get this. That's right. You have believers. Mm -hmm. And you also have Disciples. In St. John chapter 8 and at verse 31. I want to show you the difference between both. Then said Jesus. Hey, got Jesus again. Amen. Mm -hmm. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. What? If ye continue in my word. If he talked to the Jews that believed on him. That's right. If ye continue, if ye continue. If ye continue. If you continue in the teachings. Mm-hmm. Hmm? That's right. See, if you continue in the teachings of Jesus mm -hmm. and get me, get me now. The teaching of Jesus did not begin when the Son of God came here. That's right. That's right. Get me, listeners. That's right. Glory to God. You can hear a viewer now. There he goes again. <laughs> Amen. I said the teaching of Jesus did not begin. No, no, no. When the Son of God walked earth. That's right. The teaching of Jesus began when the prophets were here. That's right. Why? The scripture says mm -hmm. the testimony of Jesus, Jesus. is the spirit of, of prophecy. prophecy. That's right. So Jesus come along here mm -hmm. and said, ye fools. That's right. And slow of heart. Slow of heart. What shall we believe, Jesus? Mm -hmm. Believe all what the prophets have said. That's right. You see Jesus standing up in the synagogue, opening up the book, reading the prophets. The prophets. Huh? That's right. Amen. So the teaching of Jesus did not begin mm -hmm. when he walked the earth. No. It began when the prophets were here. That's right. Listen. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. Yes. If ye continue in my word. If ye continue in my word. Then. Then. Ye are my disciples indeed. That's the terms. That's right. Not if you quote his word. No. Not if you sing songs with the words of the scriptures in it. No, no. No. Continue in my what? In my word. In my what? In my word. Amen. Listen, viewers, and you that are here. Mm -hmm. When we continue in God's word, in word, we are continuing in God's standard. That's right. God's standards, God's law, God's statutes, That's God's right. way of doing things or having things to be done. Mm -hmm. If we continue in his word, then we got to give up everything about us. That's right. In order to continue in his word. In the word. That's right. Now, view us. 
The words of Jesus. If a man hold love it now, just a minute. <laughs> I know he's ready. <laughs> My God, he got a hangover from last night, you know. Oh, yeah. That's all right. That's all right. Glory <laughs> to God. You think the words of Jesus is the red letters in your Bible. That's right. How narrow-minded are you? That's right. My God. <laughs> From Genesis 1 1 through Revelation 22, last verse. All that is God talking. That's right. God just simply used men to rehearse what he wanted in the book. Amen. It is written that all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God. of God. How much of it? All, all of all it. scriptures. That's why you got to believe everything God said. That's right. All right, get this now. Now in St. John 14 and verse 23. What is it? Jesus answered and said unto him, if a man love me, he will keep my words. Wait a minute. Hmm. If a man shout. If a man love if me. If a man pray. If a man love me. Where there's love, there's dedication. That's right. Where there's love, there's loyalty. Amen. Where there's love, there's commitment. That's right. That's why God Almighty divorced Israel. Go ahead, brother. They broke a pact. That's right. They come along and went after idol gods. And I saw. And God Almighty made a declaration concerning his Old Testament wife. In Jeremiah chapter 3 and at verse 8. Listen. And I saw when for all the causes. I saw when for all the reasons. Whereby backsliding, backsliding Israel, Israel. Committed adultery. Committed adultery. I had put her away. I put her away. And given her a bill of divorce. And wrote her off with a bill of divorce. Yet her treacherous sister Judah feared. Not. You see, back then even God did it under the time that it was allowed. That's right. That's right. Hmm? That's true. Even God did it under a time that it was allowed. That's right. Israel didn't go after some other man. No. Israel went after another God. That's right. Now, viewers, who is your God? Amen. Think now. Think. Who is your God? That's right. Is it your pastor? Hmm. Are you bowing to him? Amen. Is it the statue in your church? Hmm. Are you coming in, dropping your knees in front of some image, right. smacking yourself on the head and both sides of your chest and ending up at your gut? Amen. Amen. Who is your God? Amen. Is it a photograph of your preacher? Go ahead, brother. You believe if you carry a certain picture around of your priest or your bishop or your imam or your re or your rabbi, mm -hmm. the plane you're on won't go down, fool. Amen. Who Amen. is your God? Amen. Amen. There are so many gods in the world. Those that are called God. All gods. That's right. Religious people have made their leaders gods. That's right. Right. There's only one God to be worshipped. Amen. 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 Not two, not three, no trinity. One God to be worshipped. That's right. You that are watching me now, mm -hmm. that crucifix, you got it home. Mm -hmm. And in your church, Amen. with some nut on it. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's right. not Jesus, that's some nut on it. That's a nut. Amen. Jesus been off the cross. That's right. Died and rose the third day and lived to talk about it. That's right. And the sun. All of that bowing down the statues and images right. cut that foolishness out. That's right. Every knee should bow to God and God only. Amen. Listen to this. Ja in Joshua chapter 2 and verse 4. What is it? And the sons of men went and they served other gods. Did you hear that? Amen. The sons of men went. Mm hmm and served other, other gods. gods and they forgot the lord who had created them in the earth do you hear this mm -hmm. fill us give chapter and verse again in joshua chapter 2 and at verse 4 they have forgot the lord who had created them in the earth only one god created us only one he's responsible for all living that's right Religious leaders today have failed in giving God the proper recognition that's due him. Amen. Amen. Viewers, the truth of God is designed mm -hmm. to promote God. That's right. To keep God in your face. That's right. 
Even if you don't like it, keep God all in your face. Amen. When you rebel against the truth of God, you're not rebelling against Pastor Jennings, you're rebelling against the words of God. That's right. That's why we don't have no written sermons. No. No, we have what's already written. That's right. A full time that's written for our learning. Amen. Do you hear this? And in those days, the sons of men made images. Ma what? The sons of men made images. Made images. Of brass. You Christians. Mm -hmm. Got a brass crucifix Amen. on your neck. That's right. With some little image on it. That's right. That's right. You got crucifix in your house. Mm-hmm. With some fool on it. Amen. Say you're Christians. Mm -hmm. Some of you got a white Jesus. Yeah. Others of you got a black Jesus. That's right. Others of you got a gingerbread color Jesus. <laughs> That's right. Huh? Amen. And none of the statues that's supposed to be Jesus mm -hmm. look alike. No, no, they don't. None of the paintings look alike. That's right. That's the right. Lord said, make no image of me. That's right. Someone said, what matter? Why should it matter to you? Well, the reason why it matters to me because God declared, mm -hmm. preached what's written. That's it. Now, if it was left up to me, I wouldn't care what you do. No. But because my mission is to deliver to you what God said, God said, make no image make, of me. No image of me. That's right. You're not even supposed to have an image of a manger. That's true. Mm -hmm. nope, that's supposed right. to be a little baby Jesus. Amen. Not supposed to have an image of Mary supposed to be holding a little baby boy Jesus. That's right. That's right. Listen. In Exodus 20 and verse 4. What is it? Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Thou shalt not make unto thee any, any graven, image, graven image or any likeness, or of, any anything likeness of anything that is in heaven above that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath, earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. The reason why he made reference to that because he don't want you to wish up it. That's right. That's why you get in trouble with God. That's right. Trying to wish up all these images, images. and idols. Mm -hmm. Now, television viewers, mm -hmm. idolatry hmm. is not just consists of bowing to clay. That's right. Or stone. That's right. You can bow to flesh and blood. Amen. You know, like you that bow to the Pope. Amen. And you that go in your backyards and the hospital chapels. Hmm. After your church and kiss the feet of images. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Now, if you got a picture of a preacher, you better not wish up that picture. Right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I don't care. I don't care if you got a picture of me. Don't go walk around with me in your wallet talking <laughs> that's about right. that's the reason why the plane won't crash. You's a fool. That's a fool. <laughs> that's right. I can't keep no plane up in the up in the sky. No, no. Already God, I remember I was on my way somewhere and we hit some strong turbulence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there was a woman sitting next to me, an elderly woman. We got to talking and you know, and we told her about the church and whatnot, and we hit some strong turbulence. My God, man, my hands was gripping the side of the chair and sweating like no one business. The old woman next to me told the people in back of me, she said, I ain't worried about nothing. I, I got a reverend next to me. That's right. I told her I need help my own self. Amen. Now, if I'm there personally and I can't keep the plane up, you know a picture of me won't keep nothing up. That's right. In the ah. Amen. So if you got a picture, I don't care if it's of me or anybody else. That's, it right. don't, that's, that's not your God. No. No, not that. And he had made an image. Listen, listen to this. In the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4. There's 14. nothing wrong with having a picture, but you better not idolize that and make it a God. That's right. Come on, son. Book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14. We'll begin at verse 14. Yes. For by the vain glory of men. Glory to God. Amen. This is the problem among men. That's right. Vain glory. glory. Amen. Amen. Love praise. That's right. Love compliments. That's right. And they begin to think they're more than what they are. Amen. If you minister and people tell you we enjoy the message, tell them pray for you. That's right. Oh, don't get carried away because brothers sit around you and talk. Amen. Brothers sit in front of a television and talk. That's right. That's right. If you can't take praise, you don't need to be in the pulpit. Amen. That's right. 
be able to take compliments Amen. without your head getting helium yeah. floating to nowhere land that's right glory to God for by the vain glory of men this is the problem viewers mm -hmm. men want you to wish up them bow to them that's why God don't make preachers out of everybody no he just don't do it that's right because there are many men cannot take praise cannot take compliments they love to have people flock around them that's right makes them feel important, important. amen hmm? amen glory to god i want to soak you a little get this for by the vain glory of men by the vain glory of men they entered into the world they entered into the world and therefore shall they come shortly to an end you hear that amen get this viewers mm -hmm. you came into the world mm -hmm. you see now look at all the celebrities are dying all the celebrities my god it proves what the word of god said <laughs> so i don't care how rich you are you that are watching me now that's right. I don't care how rich you are. Mm -hmm. I don't care how wealthy you are. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much fame you have. <laughs> when God says time to check out, your money can't keep you here. No, it won't. Huh? That's right. Your entertainment and all the records you make, all the movies you make, that stuff don't keep you here. No, no. How do the wise man die? As the fool. He died just like a fool. Just like a fool. That's something. Are you listening? Amen. Listen at the word of God. And therefore shall they come shortly to an end. They come shortly. See, eventually you shortly. come into the world, you live for a little bit time, and then you die. And you die. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you ready to die? My Lord. Look at you. You walk around here all proud and lofty and high-minded, didn't repent of your sins, not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. don't have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, don't want it. Amen. Going to your parties and going to your banquets and dancing and smoking and gambling and chasing men and That's chasing right. women and no God. No God. That's right. Drinking all the liquor you want, smoke all the brand cigars you want. Yes. Thank you, no got God. something big because you got a cigar from Cuba. <laughs> That's right. I wouldn't care if you made a cigar out of collard greens. Amen. Or dried seaweed. That's right. When you die to hell, you're going. You're going, amen. Do you hear this? And therefore shall they come shortly to an end. Young man. Amen. You're running the street with your pants hanging down, revealing your weak old underwear. That's right. Walking the streets with no God. no God, tattoos everywhere, amen, earrings in amen. your ear. That's right. Women walking the streets half naked. Amen. You don't have long, amen. Short Riding me years. upset and angry. You don't have long to be angry. That's right. My God, the word of God says what? And therefore shall they come shortly to an end. Shortly, shortly. Glory to God, amen. Shortly. Shortly to an end. You don't have much time. No, no. Shortly. Shortly. My God, the death angel is still riding all around the world. That's right. Plucking you off one by one. That's right. All the millions of dollars. Don't you can't you can't bribe the death angel, can you? No, no. When you come at your door, you can't offer him no money. No, no. And ask him to get your next door neighbor. That's right. God give him charge. You go at such and such and such address. I want them. Amen. I gave them plenty of time to obey me, and they refuse to do it. There's no need for them to be around no longer. That's right. Take them out of here. That's right.